and US switching. So we're going to scroll down. So we're going to go download this connection pack here. We are going to just save this file. Okay, so let's try this. So we are now connected to the VPN. It's named Omni and go over to the machine IP address 10.10.10.204 to the VPN I'm right here. Let's go ping and let's try this again. Okay. So this tells us we're successfully connected to that VPN. We're going to just do a control Z there and get rid of it. So the command that we were going to run, it's called nmap, which stands for network map. N map numbs luck 10.10.10.204 let's just run a sudo here there is a couple of ports that's open so we have a port uh we got 135 it's just a windows microsoft windows rpc then we got 8080 which is an http uh, and it says right here, the basic RAM though was the Windows device portal. I would probably start typing this into like a Google search, probably go ahead and try since I know 8080 is open. I'd probably go ahead and try it at an 80 and 80 here. The title says Windows device portal, and it's asking for a username and a password. Default login and password for Windows um, IoT administrator and the password was just password we're going to copy it and we're going to go administrator and we're going to type in the password did change the default username and password um knowing that we couldn't get in through this way either windows iot um, vulnerabilities this one right here should work for us code and we're going to go and we're going to copy this out and let's just do a git clone control shift v okay http dot server we're going to run it simply with this this command uh, right here uh let me know if this is uh if this is working out pretty well for you let's come right here let's go with this one oh uh, i don't know this may work let's see let's try it let's go copy here let's drop over to um all right, let's drop over to this one. Let's just paste this in and let's hit return. Okay, it looks like it's working. We'll see. Okay, good. So I think it is working there. Huh. I'm always amazed when things actually work. <laughs> NC, and we're going to go NLVP1234 was what I used. And it says listening on any port for one, two, three, and a four here. Okay, so this one will run our PowerShell instance. All right, let's try this command again. Uh, and let's hit return here. And let's see what happens. So at this point, I believe if we go back and we check, let's see our NC listener. Okay, here we go. Let's just do a directory, CD program files, Windows, Power, shell and then we have a modules and then we have a package management yeah we can do we can see all of the different files in this directory we've got a hidden file right here called r.bat an r.bat uh net app user mesh we're going to keep that one uh then we've got an administrator and then internet of things uh there's a ping command and a few other things we're going to top in app and then we're going to top in this one. So let's start with this one. Let's see what we can get. So boom, we're going to go app. And then finally right here, we're going to paste. Let's hit okay. <laughs> okay. So we now have access to this machine. Let's see. We've got apps connect IOT core uh, processes. Okay. Ooh, I bet there's something we can do in here, right? Maybe it's something that's adding protection performance. Oh, we're going to be using this one for sure. Run command here. The command that we used a bit earlier, um, we can copy this one back out and let's just paste this in there. Let's just hit run here in C and we're going to use this time one, two, three, five. And we're just gonna change this to one, two, three, four, and then five. We're gonna run it. 
And let's now go, go back over. Okay, so here we go. Dollar sign env colon username. Okay, good. So here we are. We are now in an app or whatever the name of the user is. That's just where you would place right here. So let's take this credential and let's just go paste clipboard. Now we have the uh, credential and let's paste this one in there. And we hit return. Right here is a uh, password. Uh, going back over to hack the box, click on own user. We're going to paste the hash, test it. It looks like it's worked. And we need to get the root one, which is the administrator one. So we're going to take this password here. Uh, we can type in uh, the username and password that we have here. So administrator and then this other one. So we're going to go admin a straight or admin a straight or and okay so now we're logged in to that same box that we were just on just a second ago um, but now we're logged in as an administrator why do we need to log in as an administrator because we need to come back into the processes part of it here and we're going to run that same command, but we're going to be going into the administrator directory. Put it back over on five. And we'll fix this up when we run it. One, two, three, and then a five here. Uh, run in PowerShell. Let's go run. Woohoo! We have our reverse shell. We can do env, put in the semicolon, and then we're going to go username. So we know the current environment username is going to be administrator. So instead of this being app, we're going to go administrator. And this is not user anymore. This is root. Let's paste it and let's paste that in there. We have another root password on root. We're going to paste that same hash. Uh, let's save it. We have not only beat this one, we have our, we've owned the user and we've also owned the root uh, here at the moment. So congrats to each and every one of you for sitting here watching me for a little bit and helping me out. <laughs>